I would like to show some of the new features coming to Hello 8.2 and uh, I'd basically like to start by showing some uh, some ways to get the most out of the new uh, landscape rendering capabilities. Uh, what you see here is something I just put together uh, very quickly using a, uh, a texture um, created from fractal noise it was applied to a 3D object um, using 3D Designer to create a landscape. Now I'd like to start um, with the basic building blocks for this. I'm going to use fractal noise or more specifically plasma noise. So using the default settings I'm going to apply a color curve to it to make it more interesting and then I'm going to build a texture to apply to the surface. Uh, I'm going to do all that using the uh, swap image. Uh, so I'll start with fractal noise, filter, render, and plasma noise. I'm going to start with the default settings, hit OK. Uh, if, if I were to render this in 3D, design, 3D Designer right now, you get a very uh, generic looking landscape. Uh, it just kind of looks like sand dunes or something, so I'm going to make this a little more interesting. Let me cancel. I'm going to go to Filter, Adjust, Curves. And this basically lets us redistribute re those colors quite a bit. I'm going to make it uh, just basically, let me reset this. Uh, when you start out, it's basically linear. Basically, zero over here uh, is color zero, and over here is color uh, 255 at the top there. So basically if I take this and move it down to the middle, the, the, the maximum color would be 128. But uh, I'm going to move that back up and I'm going to click right in the middle, color 128 roughly. Click right there, create a point, and just drag that down. So basically that middle point is being readjusted. Um, and as you can imagine, this curve right here is going to create sort of a slope in our landscape. So we're going to have more of a craggy, jagged looking landscape. I'll click OK to that. Go back to Filter, Transform, 3D Designer. As you can see, our landscape just got a lot more interesting. Um, now the next thing I want to do is create a texture for this uh, object. We already have one in there because I've already pre previously defined that. Go to Image, Swap Buffers, or J on the keyboard. That's the lowercase j. As you can see, I have a texture already created here. This is a very simple texture. I'll clear the screen and re recreate that. I'll use filters, render, plasma noise, use the default settings. And since I already have another plasma noise in the other image, I'll go back to swap buffers. Uh, I'm going to use that as a, a uh, displacement map. So swap back to the one I just created. I'll go to filters, displace by swap, and normal displace. What normal displace does is it uses that image in the swap buffer, the swap image, creates a sort of a 3D object out of it and uses the surface normals or the direction that each vertex or each face, each triangle you, you might say, each the direction each one of those is facing as a displacement map. So we're going to get a very uh, interesting looking displacement on this. And I'll just turn that all the way up. As you can see we just created that very craggy looking, very uh, rough looking texture. Now all I'm going to do is adjust the color of that. With color, adjust. Click on this add tab right here. I'm going to put the cut the red up a bit. I don't want to blow it out or we'll lose, or we'll, uh, lose detail. But I'm going to put up the red a little bit and the, uh, the yellow as well. Hit OK. And that is basically our texture for our object. Um, actually I might make this a little bit more interesting right now to show off a few more things you can do. Uh, going to the selection menu, I'm going to go to um, Paint on Alpha, Selection Paint on Alpha. Click that. This little button that the uh, window that pops up which can be moved out of the way. It just says, uh, it reminds us that we're in alpha painting mode right now and we can go back to regular painting at any point. But basically anything I paint up to this uh, on this image is going to be painted directly into the alpha channel. That's uh, the same as our selection mask. Uh, so I'll go to Filter, Render, I'm going to use another 
uh, plasma noise or fractal noise. This time I'm going to change the setting, uh, the scale down quite a bit to say five. I'll click OK to that, and I'll go to Filter, Adjust, Levels, and I'm just going to change the contrast of this. Uh, you could also use uh, the Filter Adjust value filter would work just as well. I'm going to make this just more contrasty to where we have more or less black and white. There'll be a little bit of an in-between value, but I'm going to click OK to that. Let me undo that. I'll also show you that using uh, adjust value, adjust color, adjust value. And there's a uh, contrast slider right here, the third one down. And this would do more or less the same thing by adjusting that up, uh, basically adjusting the contrast of that. I'll go back to paint normally so we won't be in alpha painting mode anymore. And as you can see, we just created a selection mask based on that fractal noise we just created. Uh, it's a very uh, arbitrary design there. Um, what I'm going to do now is go to brush, the brush menu, and click on uh, patterns. We have some predefined patterns. I'm just going to use a, maybe a grass or a rock pattern. Here's one right here, pattern ground. That should work nicely. Click on that and get rid of this button. That should now be um, a custom brush, basically. Uh, if we go to fill settings, you'll see that. Uh, I'm just going to click on one of the fill tools, mainly the, uh, the flood fill tool will work, or you could use maybe the... Uh, well, one of these other fill tools, such as uh, uh, any one of them that will fill something. Anyways, once you click on the uh, the, flood, the flood fill tool, there'll be a fill settings button right there. I'm going to click on that, and as you can see, there's that pattern we just uh, loaded. Um, and I'm going to use that to fill this image through that alpha channel. If we go into this fill settings, there's a pattern fill icon right there. I'm going to click on that. We're going to use this basically as a just a wallpaper type of pattern, a repeating pattern. So once that's clicked on, we should be able to close that. And under image and fill, it's about the fifth one down. There's a menu that pops up, and we just basically want fill or Q on the keyboard. And that will basically fill our selection using that pattern we just created. So now that we've done that, I might also adjust that color while we're here to make that more interesting. Um, I'll go back to the multiply tab and just bring this down so we got a nice rust, Marsy looking rusty color there. So, um, and bear in mind we have this selection still, so that only affected the part we just created. I'm going to go ahead and clear the selection now. We don't need it anymore. Clear alpha and then the selection menu. I'm going to go back to the original image with uh, swap J on the keyboard or there's a, a menu item swap buffers <clears throat> now we're back to this original fractal noise that we've uh, used to create that landscape so I'm going to go to filter transform and 3d designer and as you can see we've just applied that texture to our landscape and that, why is that well because we've selected the color source um, if we had just used object color, the default setting, we would have gotten a very plain looking landscape. Um, and that's good for like lunar surfaces and that sort of thing. But we want to use that swap from image setting and that will use that uh, texture we just created as uh, the texture of our surface. Now uh, when I can come back I'm going to show you some things about lighting and that sort of thing and how we got this fog effect and these different lights that we're using right now. So let me, uh, let me come back um, in another tutorial to do that.